inside this therapy room. Are you ready? Where's the zebra? Three brothers are trying to learn the basic skills to get them through everyday life. There we go. Every week for the last 10 years, speech pathologist James Toms has planned these sessions with the Brownlow brothers. John, you ready? Flashcards, a fun game or two to help their communication skills. Say it again. Tiger. Yeah. Things don't always go as planned. I don't want to play games. You play castle, Mr. James will play game, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. All three of the brothers have autism. 21-year-old Jonathan, 19-year-old Israel, and 18-year-old Nicholas were all diagnosed at an early age. I'm, I'm a better person for knowing that. I really am. Because it's, it's not easy, um, but with, with the way they've come and with their parents' help, it's, it's become much easier. Gentle. As far as I'm concerned, they're in my lives. I'm in their lives forever. You know, if, as a therapist or as, as a friend. Jonathan likes organizing. What do you want? Scissors. And finds comfort in cutting paper into equally sized pieces. Last one. Israel is computer savvy and loves Disney characters. Israel's just happy right now. He's got his bug. He's got Jesse. And Nicholas is the most verbal of the three. Gods. You can never put a cap on a child's potential, especially a child with autism. And sometimes we do. They've come a long way from their very first visit. Bye. And the skills they learn in this room carry over to their school and home. Are we ready? Yes. Oh. Where parents Israel and Ginger have learned the key to their success, giving their sons tasks and boosting their confidence. It's like this giant learning curve that you never graduate from. They have their highs and they have their lows. And they're not they're not always sweet. No, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, no. Jonathan? No, no, come on. No. You know, there's, there's nothing that prepares you for raising three autistic children. Accepting their fate as parents has been a challenge from the day each of them was diagnosed. I have not been able to relax and breathe in probably 18 years. There is no breath. There is no breath. They've had their share of traumatic experiences. The uh, stares, the looks, the, uh, the cold isolation. Israel is our attention-seeking child, so he likes sneaking out back, jumping in the pool. It's a lot for two parents just trying to raise a happy family. We just want to feel normal. Yeah. When you have autistic children, you don't feel normal. You feel like you did something wrong. We couldn't understand at first why uh, not just one boy, but three, you know, and so we just started um, just trying to figure out what to do as parents. Can you type it up there? That meant getting their boys the help they need to thrive. Each of them has a therapist work with them at home. We're going to put these pants on this hanger, okay? Through this help and discipline, they've learned to manage everyday chores around the house. There you go. Jonathan has even developed a love for cooking. Yeah, throw those in garbage. So often, uh, parents, especially parents of autistic children, believe that there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Despite the daily challenges, she wants to give other parents hope. These dedicated parents take each day as it comes. Six, yeah. seven. Celebrating each small victory and showering their children with love. I love you. So that they know even if the outside world is intimidating, here at home they're safe yeah. and embraced for who they are. In Virginia Beach, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.